Good morning, welcome to weekly vlog 25, 10 to 9 in the morning. I've just come back from hotel breakfast and I feel really, really rough today. I can't stop like blowing my nose and sneezing and I'm, my chest hurts, I feel ill. Not good, but anyway, I'm off to my first day of training. I'm very nervous and I did not sleep very well last night. The bed was so comfy, but I just couldn't sleep. I felt so disorientated. I think I'm going to try and have an early night tonight, but... I'm off to training and I will report back later. Hopefully it goes well. It is 5.37 and I'm already in bed. So I got there at half nine and then was told I didn't have to be there till 10. So then I was a bit like, oh, I could have slept for half an hour more. And considering I slept for about two hours, I wasn't very pleased, but at least I was there early. There's four of us doing the course. There's a couple that are setting up their own business. There's a girl that's specializing in like boutique hotels and there's me. So I'm the only one that's working for another agency. It was a long day in terms of, it was so much information and I'm bunged up and my head is just really sore. And I think it's just cause I'm knackered and it was, a really crap week last week and I didn't go to bed till about four o'clock this morning. It's weird because this bed is so comfortable and it's literally like, it's huge. Like, I, I could fit a solid four people in this bed if I wanted to. When you don't feel well and then you're not at home and then you feel disorientated and everything, it just wasn't a good night's sleep. Day one was good. I think it's going to kind of get not harder because they're, it's not an intense thing and they're trying to help the people that do doing the course. They want you to learn and they're trying to help you and stuff. So they're all really lovely and it was good. Where I'm staying, there's a McDonald's, which I don't want because I had that yesterday. There's a Subway. I don't really want another sandwich. And there's a diner, so maybe I could go and sit in the diner, but I don't know if I really want to do that because I feel poorly. Just to update you, it's taken me exactly an hour to decide if I ordered room service because I got to the point where I just had enough and I wanted pasta. So I have ordered chicken carbonara, I think, and some onion rings. So they said it'd be half an hour, so it's 6.43. Let's see what happens. 20 minutes later and it's here and I'm so excited. I can't even explain how excited I am to eat this. I'm gonna chill in bed and watch some YouTube and inhale all of the food. <laughs> I'm still feeling really poorly and bunged up, but resting has been lovely. I've got a very red nose. Then I've literally just spent four hours of my life replying to comments because I hadn't done it since about eight days ago. So I had a two week, I had the weekly vlog from last week, my bell haul, my Disney trailer, and the start of tonight's vlog comments to reply to so it's taken me four hours which is mad but um you guys are just the best people i don't know if i say this enough or if i say it too much and i annoy you but your comments have made me feel so much better about myself tonight i have been feeling crap lately i've had some personal life crap going on confidence has been knocked by something and it's just been a bit crap to be honest and october is always a difficult month for me because it's a reminder of when bad things happened and a few years ago when my mum passed away and stuff so it's just a difficult time for me anyway and i'm not like in a terrible mood i'm just having a bit of a rubbish time but it'll be okay and it's just weird being on my own here it is really strange did everything that i said i'd do tonight so i've been really productive and now it is 11.53 and I'm going to take my makeup off and get into bed. We'll see you tomorrow for day two of training. Obviously I can't take you with me but I'll see you at some point tomorrow. <laughs> Good night. It is 12 o'clock and obviously I'm not training and I look a mess, my throat is sore. I woke up this morning about half six and basically it was throwing up and like coughing up crap that I think is on my chest. I just was like, I can't go there this morning. I don't feel very well, I need to sleep. I slept for about two hours again. So I went back to sleep and slept for about three-ish maybe hours I think. And now I've just had a shower and I put my pajamas straight back on because I didn't want to put my jeans on or anything yet. Now I'm going to try and put some a little bit of makeup on to make myself look a bit better and then head over there so I'm back at training for the afternoon session and get some sort of medicine and some water oh my god i look awful don't i not good but yeah that, that's me at the moment it is now about quarter past six and i'm home from the training it was okay luckily i didn't miss too much and i caught up on what i missed and now i'm hungry i think i'm gonna go to the diner i think i want to go to asda i need to get petrol and i think i just want a bit of change in scenery so i might go to asda and um do some snack hunting and then I'm really tempted to have another hot bath tonight. I've never eaten in a, I get, well, this isn't really a restaurant, is it? I mean, I've eaten in like a McDonald's, KFC style places on my own, but I've never eaten in a restaurant restaurant on my own, so this will be an adventure. I went and had dinner in the diner, dinner in the diner, which was quite nice and like my own little date night. It was very sad but cute and then I went to Asda and I didn't really buy I just bought some orange juice some tablets some medicine some sweets that was it really came back I've been doing some work 10 14 and I'm running a bath I didn't show you this the other day because I had a bath on Sunday night but I stopped vlogging by that point but the bath is like a jacuzzi bath and I didn't realize I just found the button which is that button that that, that one pressed it and it just like was like a jacuzzi it was amazing it made all these bubbles so 
I'm gonna have a bath because I think that'll make me feel better. Friends Hay and Martin, who own the holiday company that I work for, are actually coming tomorrow to see me, which would be nice to have some company because although I've been like around people during the day, people I don't know, they're like the trainers and other people that are taking the course. So it'd be nice to see some people I actually know and chat and stuff. So I'm looking forward to that. It was nice to go out and have a change of scenery tonight though. I did enjoy that, but I'm now going to have a bath and chill morning it's wednesday and i definitely slept much better last night which is a good thing so i feel better for having probably five six hours sleep i'm still not 100 percent, but i'm taking tablets and drinking lots of orange juice and um trying to stay positive i'm feeling better today just had hotel breakfast i had bacon sausages toast hash browns which i never normally i don't eat this early at home but i feel like when i'm here and i know i'm gonna be up for like a full working day hours sort of thing i need it to kind of get me through so i'm off to training and i will see you later hello it's half three and i'm actually in a car park somewhere in chester i don't really know where i've tried to come into like the actual chester center but i got a bit confused but the drive from my training to here was beautiful we finished early today so i was like i can either go back and nap before going out for dinner tonight or i can be uh, interesting and come and explore so I'm trying to be interesting and power through not feeling very well and come and explore I came to Chester once before a few years ago because it was one of my uni choices it was actually my first uni choice until I decided I needed to be close to home so I remember it being really beautiful so I'm off to explore and see what I can find and hopefully I'll be able to remember where my car is later because I have absolutely no idea where I've parked or even if I'm anywhere near Chester I'm not good when I don't know where I'm going so we'll see what I can find but I'm off on an adventure <laughs> I made it. Look, it's something that's not the hotel room. <laughs> I've been here before. I remember the Debenhams. I went in here before because I worked at Debenhams when I came here last. So I remember going in there and like browsing. This is so cute. Obviously have to come to the Disney store. Yeah, amazing. Oh, it's not small, I think it's a big one. It's so cute. <laughs> Oh my god. Well, I'm just going to say, have you seen Christmas beer match? <laughs> yes, he's so cute. Oh, I love it. Amazing. This is the amphitheatre. Look how amazing this is. So, this is from the Roman times, did we say? And people would have like fighted, fighted, that's the word. Fought is the word I'm looking for. <laughs> it's been a long day, each other there. This is so cool. This is literally just like across from the city centre. Does this river have a name or is it just a river? The River D. Yeah. Oh. <gasps> we're like the opposite of Mary Poppins, we're like <laughs> repelling the birds. Oh. It's so warm as well in the sun. Look how cute this is. It's like Alice. <laughs> it's so cute. <laughs> I am back in my hotel room and I'm looking like ugh because I always find that when I'm not well the later it gets I feel worse I always feel really bad in the morning and like at night um, I had a really lovely afternoon today actually I went into Chester and a lovely subscriber called Shona I'm probably saying it wrong and I'm sorry if I am tweeted me basically saying she was nearby and she, did we want to meet up showed me Chester which was really lovely I don't know if I said before but I went to Chester once a few years ago because it was my first choice uni option so I remembered parts of it but I didn't remember all of it and I parked walked into town and met her and she was so lovely honestly it was so lovely to meet somebody and like actually be able to have like a proper chat and spend time together because normally when I meet subscribers I'm at work or you know I'm at Disney or it's like a brief hello kind of passing thing so it was really nice to kind of like explore the town together she showed me the Disney store obviously and we went down to the river and she showed me the amphitheatre and then we went for a drink in the Mad Hatter's tea room which was obviously a Disney fan's dream it was lovely please go there if you're ever in Chester it was really really great it was really just lovely to spend time with her so thank you so much sweetheart for showing me around because I had a really lovely time and you really made my week to be honest it was really great and then after that I met up with Martin and Hayley and we went to Bella Italia and I had some meatballs thing and I had some pasta which was really nice. I feel really positive after today. I think I really needed it. It was nice to have a shorter day at training and to see some people because although I, like I said I've been seeing people at training it was nice to talk about other things and see other people so I feel much more positive and 
happy after today. So I came back and I went on Periscope for a bit and then I've just been messing about on my phone and now I'm going to have another bath because I'm just obsessed with having baths here. Take my makeup off and then I'm gonna wash my hair and go to bed. So hopefully I feel a bit better in the morning. I think tomorrow I'm seeing Maxine, my friend, and her fiance Bobby. We have spoken online for over a year, I would say. And we're really, really close friends. Like, I feel like I could tell her anything. But we've never met each other because we don't live too close and stuff. And we're going to see each other in Halloween. In Halloween. At Halloween in Disneyland Paris. The week after next. Is it next week? It must be. Is it next week? Oh, it's next week. How mad is that? Crap, I didn't realise that. She's going to come up here tomorrow, which is really exciting because I've never met her before. And we're going to go for dinner and stuff. So I'm really looking forward to that. Um, but first I have like a whole day of training to do. So I'm going to end tonight because I'm just going to chill. And... Um, not do anything else too exciting it's just gonna be me chilling probably watching youtube and reading my book but i will see you tomorrow and hopefully it'll be another really positive and happy day it is thursday and it is 5 23 in the afternoon and i had my training today which was okay it went quite well i've been back for about an hour and a bit maybe and i've been listening to the little mix song shout out to my ex pretty much on repeat because I'm obsessed. It's like the best song. If you've been feeling crap, especially if a boy has made you feel crap, go and listen to that song because it's just so empowering and I love Little Mix. I've been editing tomorrow's first Disney spring vlog, which is very exciting. It's quite cute because my dad is in it. So that'll be fun and hopefully you guys liked that if you watched it. It's my last night here, I get to go home tomorrow, which it's a weird feeling because it feels like ages ago since I was at home and I do miss my dog and I miss my nan but I get home tomorrow night working Saturday and then Sunday is the show I've got a pack as well and get ready to check out in the morning and then one more day of training and then it's home time tomorrow night so yeah I'm excited to see Maxine and Bobby I don't know where we're going to go because there isn't much here because I'm literally like on the motorway or the dual carriageway like out that window behind me is just the road I imagine neither of us know the area very well so it'll be fun trying to pick somewhere but I will let you know what we get up to this is probably the greatest moment of my week look at it pizza we've been reunited <laughs> It is much later now, it's about 10 o'clock and Maxine and Bobby left probably about an hour ago, I'm not too sure. And I miss them so much already. We had such a lovely evening and I really appreciate them driving like the two hours here and then home again to come see me. They're just the nicest people. We've known each other like online for over a year now and me and Maxine are really good friends and I'm friends with Bobby and they're just so lovely and I miss them already. I think I just said that but we had such a great time. It's Pizza Hut which was great because obviously I love pizza and... I've not had it since I've been here, I don't think, so it was nice to kind of get out and go and do something. I get to see them again next weekend in Disneyland Paris, which is good because it's not too far away, it's just a week. We had such a good time, they're really fantastic people and I love them very much, so it was really great to see them and I've just been kind of sitting on my phone, not really doing anything productive. I need to kind of get some packing done and I need to finish my Disneyland Paris vlog for tomorrow and I might actually do the one for next week as well because I need to do the following two weeks ones in advance because I'm so busy. That's gonna be it for today. I'm sorry it was a short one and tomorrow will probably be much of the same because I'll just be training and then be heading back home to my own bed, which I'm excited about. Although this bed, look how big this bed is. Like seriously, I can't even reach the other side. It's absolutely huge. I don't know what size bed this is, but it's, it is insane and I will miss it, but there's nothing like your own bed is there. So yes, thank you for watching today. I will see you tomorrow. Good 4.14 and I'm on the, I don't actually know what road I'm on. I'm on a road. <laughs> I'm driving. We finished about three o'clock today. I've been driving for about an hour and the traffic is bad. It's saying I'm due home at 7.47, which is another three hours and 30 minutes. I'm tired today. I'm really quite sleepy. I think this week has kind of taken its toll because it's been a long week and obviously learning and getting up really early and being somewhere different and I've also not been very well. I am actually feeling much better today, which is good. I'm still a little bit sniffly, but I am feeling a lot better, which is quite nice. So I'm going to listen to this podcast, Accused, that I listened to on the way here. And there's like two, I think I've got two and a half episodes left and I don't think they're going to find out who did it, which is very frustrating. And then uh, probably listen to Hamilton and some Disney music. Trading was good this week. I enjoyed it. And I have to do a second week, which I was actually supposed to do the week after next. But I'm in Disneyland Paris then, so I can't do it. So I don't actually think I'm doing the second week until December. It was a good week. Everyone was nice. And um, I did actually learn quite a lot. It was a lot of like exercises and demos and stuff and using different systems. It is about half 11 and I am in bed clearly. So happy to be home. I think I got home about nine o'clock. I'm not too sure, I can't remember, but it took a bit longer. There was a big accident that kind of slowed things down and it was not good. I drove past it and it was very bad. So I hope everyone was okay because it was, it was not good. And I stopped once on my home to get something to eat. Came home and was reunited with my pup, with Bertie. I've unpacked, but I've left my case out because I'll be packing it 
in a week, if that, to go to Disney, which is exciting. I'm all tucked up in bed. My nan changed my bedding for me, which was very kind of her, so it's extra cosy. Although my bed is obviously much smaller than that huge bed I had in the hotel, but I don't mind because there's nothing like your own bed is there. But anyway, I'm sorry I haven't really vlogged today and it'll probably be a bit similar tomorrow because all I'm doing is going to work. But hopefully on Sunday I can show you some of the Anna Menken show, which would be good. Hopefully I can have a really good long sleep before a long shift tomorrow. So I will see you tomorrow. Hello, it's... Well, it's actually technically Sunday now because it's gone midnight, but we'll pretend it's still Saturday evening and I'm obviously back from work. I'm very tired. Didn't have the best day today. It's just been one of those days, but um, yeah, it was okay. And I'm excited because obviously tomorrow it's now the Alan Menken show. I've heard about it. I think it's going to be amazing and I'm just excited to go and do something different and spend time with my dad and stuff and hopefully see some of my friends. Sorry I haven't filmed today. Obviously being at work it's busy. I did get a free loaf of bread today. Hobbits for some reason are doing a deal promotion with the Trolls movie and they were giving out free loaves of bread so that's that's my day highlight for you <laughs> anyway i'll see you tomorrow and i'm sorry for not filming much today but hopefully tomorrow will be better hello welcome to sunday it is nine minutes past five and i'm in a random side street in london which sounds dodgier than it is but we're just by my dad's office it's sunday which means it's uh, disney broadway hits day i'm very excited i'm in the car you've guessed this i'm saying these sentences in the wrong order basically me and my dad have driven to his office because he's got some po box style post for me that he said he's not been able to bring home because it's too heavy or something i'm not too sure um so he's gone in to grab that quickly and then we're going to head off to the royal Albert hall i'm very very excited about this i'm hoping to see some of my friends Alyssa's going to be there with mark today so i'm hoping i can see them sam for god's going so i hope i can see her quickly quite a lot of you guys are going and have been tweeting me about it so hopefully i see some of you oh i'm just so excited about it and even my dad's a little bit excited so we'll see what it's going to be like i'm not really sure but i'm excited to see obviously Aladdin because I love the Aladdin cast and I love the genie Trevor's amazing so I'm excited for that I'm excited for some potential Tarzan because the guy that was the original Tarzan is going to be there and Tarzan music is just phenomenal I'm excited for some maybe Beauty and the Beast I'm heard rumors of Beauty and the Beast and some Mary Poppins there's so many Little Mermaid I'm hoping for that as well there's so many possibilities of amazing music today and of course oh my god I've just seen my dad and the post he's got is insane this is huge and of course as well Alan Menken's going to be there so this is amazing look at my dad did say that he had a lot of posts so that is quite funny <laughs> the hamilton theater that is exciting how mad is that that's so cool well you made it it's cold oh. i didn't bring a scarf i made a foolish error We made it to the Royal Albert Hall. Sarah's got our Jimmy by hand. And there's Dad. <laughs> with his snacks. <laughs> with his snacks. Snacks um, Yeah, it's, I'm excited. I don't know what else to say. I'm very excited to be here. And um, I have wine, so what more could you want? We're very excited. And programs. And programs, which Mark bought me because I didn't bring any money with me because I'm not clever. But adopted dad Mark has provided me with a program and real dad has provided me with wine. So who's the best? We're not, we're not Vote in the comments below what you'd rather have, wine or a program. We are in our box, we're very excited. Um, and I can see Alyssa and Mark from their seat. I'm waving to them, they're over there. And I can see Sam who's in front of her, which is very exciting. And there's lots of people here, which is very cool. And the band, the orchestra have just come on stage. It's about to start any second, and I can't wait. What song are you most, what film songs are you most excited to see? Uh, just name probably them. the Lion King. Tarzan and Aladdin and Beauty and Beast. And Frozen. And, Frozen, and Hunchback of Notre Dame. Come, it's all very exciting. You know, he thought it was Let It Snow. I did think, because it was frozen and in the snow. So Which is kind of, a, kind of a, like, acceptable answer, but what can you do? So I'm, I'm learning. Trying to film if I can. I'm not sure if I'm allowed to, but I'm going to try to, so we'll see. Here's the interval. I have ice cream and I found some. I'm and Mark's still, Mark's still, still here. Mark bought me ice cream. Yeah, he's I doing his really good adapted, adopted dad from My dad, <laughs> I don't know where my dad is. I've no idea. My dad's getting me wine again, I think. So, Alyssa's over there. There she is. And uh, I found Sam. Yeah. And are we having a good time? Yeah, having a favourite part so far? Uh, Mary Poppins, actually. I don't know. I thought that was very funny. See, Beauty and the Beast was the first oh, thing. Cool, so. And I think it happened too quickly for me. I was a bit overwhelmed, so I couldn't really, like... Yeah. I was a bit like, oh, but Tarzan. Yeah. And 
he lives in you, the lion king. Oh my god, that's true actually, he lives in you, I got this one. That I made like, me like tear up quite a bit. Um, and Tarzan was amazing because it's the original Tarzan and he's, yeah. he's great. So I'm just loving it, it's amazing. And I'm Poppins. really excited for Aladdin. Poppins. Poppins was so good. And there's two people here, Ashley Brown. Yeah. Ashley Brown. Ashley Brown. Um, and someone struck them. Oh, Scarlett Stratton. Scarlett Stratton, who plays Mary Poppins the person. Oh, yeah. I opened them here with like original Mary Poppins, yeah, one Broadway, yeah. one West End. Which I, I was sitting there going, this is really awkward, what are they going to do? And they had like a little Mary Poppins medley, yeah, which is really, really oh, sweet. Really Mark, what was your favourite part so far? Uh, probably Feed the Birds. Yeah, that was that was like you could have heard a pin it. drop. It was beautiful, it was so good. My dad's loving okay, it, he's good. like clapping along. That's and good. Um, His favourite part, I think, was Mary Poppins as well. Classic. I'm just so excited for Aladdin. What else is happening? Uh, we had to, we to let you go. Oh, we've got, 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 got Hunchback to come, we've got uh, Aladdin. Aladdin to come. And an Alan Menken to come. I think like, he's going to come on stage and people oh. are just going to lose their crap. What else is there, Ben? No, what we've got to come. That's no, 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 is that my dad up there? That's my dad up there. <laughs> there he is. I don't know why he's up there. He's on the stage. He's, he's trying to take over an Ian Stephan performance. Um, what else has there been? What else is to come? No, I'm thinking what's to come. Wayne shows. What else has there been? I don't know. the Beast, Aladdin. Newsies. Uh, I, newsies. Newsies. I, I haven't seen Newsies, I'm so, so I'm trying to get everyone in, but we're all too far away. Sorry. I don't know, where else have they been? I don't know, but my arm hurts, so I'm going to have to put you down and my ice cream's melting, so I'll catch up with you after the show. Friday night is music night on BBC Radio 2. And Trevor, are you ready to take us home? <laughs> at night and I am so tired I guess is probably the best word <laughs> um I where do you even start with explaining tonight I really don't have the right words or words which to do it justice I think they were filming it for maybe it to come out at Christmas is would be my guess I'm not too sure but they did film it so hopefully if you weren't able to go you'll be able to see it at some point in the future I did do a sneaky bit of filming at the end of Aladdin because most people were to be fair and it was just incredible honestly they did beauty and the beast the lion king aida i'm probably not saying it right sorry tarzan and mary poppins they did let it go from frozen because frozen is obviously going on broadway soon then act two was king david the little mermaid newsies the hunchback of notre dame and aladdin alan menken came out and played piano and sang proud of your boy which is probably one of the greatest things i've ever witnessed in my entire life to be in the presence of someone that's a complete legend to see him in person and hear him sing was incredibly special i think i will never forget or take for granted it was just wonderful i don't even know what my favorite part was everything was just so special obviously loved the beauty and the beast and the lion king i loved the little mermaid and tarzan and mary poppins five or six key performers and they kind of took it in turns to sing and if it was their show they were the lead in they did most of it but they also did other songs as well so you got to see them do different things and obviously aladdin at the end was fantastic because aladdin's just so good and the music is wonderful and they did with Friend Like Me, which I've spoken about before, how much I love that. So I'm so glad I went. I almost didn't go. I was supposed to go with someone else and basically I got let down by somebody really badly this month. I bought my own tickets and it wasn't cheap, it was quite expensive. And I paid for Dad to come with me as well, but it was so worth it. I can't even explain how worth it was. And I got to see so many of you lot, which was just so special. And I got to see my friends, so special. And I really needed it. really needed that Disney boost after some... Not two great things that have been happening in the past couple of weeks but it's given me the Disney spirit and the magic and then next weekend 
I'll be in Disneyland Paris this time next week. I'll be in Disney, which is very, very exciting. I'm not too sure if I'm going to vlog this week because I leave on Saturday for Disney. So if I do, it will be a Monday to Friday vlog. But let me know if you'd watch it. If you're going to be in Disneyland Paris for Halloween, let me know. It'd be amazing to see you there. I'll be there from Saturday afternoon until... Wednesday evening I believe so it's a long and fun trip lots of my favorite people are going and lots of new people I've ever met before so it's gonna be really special keeping with the Halloween theme my question for this week is what are your Halloween plans what are you dressing up as and if you don't have any plans what would you dress up as if you could do really really great whenever somebody comments saying I watched but I've never commented before so um, I really appreciate it and I love chatting to you in the comments so let me know. Anyway, I'm going to end this. I'm not going to edit it till the morning because I'm really tired but I've actually got a four hour shift tomorrow at the Disney store. Hopefully you can get this edited before then. We'll see, I don't know. Thank you for watching this week. It's been a very long one and a very different one being away and a busy one. I'm making no sense now. Good night, thanks for watching.